What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Tops Wrestling. And before we get into anything, first things first, do you guys like the new frames that I've got up on the wall? Uh, yeah, shout out to once again my girlfriend and one of my really good friends for you know hooking me up with them two Joe Tops Wrestling posters. Maybe if you guys want to see it, we can do another room tour. That's a good idea, Joe. Do you guys want to see that? Do you want to see a 2021 room tour? Let me know in the comment section down below. However, today we are talking about a different subject entirely. WrestleMania 37, and more importantly, the branding of WrestleMania 37. Ladies and gentlemen, the title of this video is Should WWE Change the WrestleMania 37 Logo? Now, there's a reason behind that. As we all know, the WrestleMania 37 pay-per-view is taking place in Tampa, Florida. Uh, I believe it's the exact same stadium that WrestleMania 36 was meant to take place in, meaning we might see the giant pirate ship. If not, it might be in a different stadium. Uh, I'm really confused about this. So I, I know there's two stadiums in Tampa. They're operating in one at the moment, and then there's the one that's like the Tampa Bay Raymond James Stadium. That's the one that Mania 36 was meant to take place in. I believe I'm contradicting myself now, saying that the WrestleMania 36 is actually taking place in the stadium they are currently in. So technically, Tampa Bay, that's where it is. Yeah, Tampa, Florida. So why is this still the WrestleMania 37 logo? WrestleMania Hollywood, when it's not in Hollywood. It was meant to be taking place in the SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. That was meant to be the original plan. And I believe if sources are correct, you know, it's all speculation. Nothing's been confirmed. Main event was meant to be Roman Reigns versus The Rock. That's why it's got the whole Hollywood theme, because The Rock is Hollywood. But that's not happening anymore due to you know, the, the big C word we're not allowed to say, the C-O-V word. And that's not happening because of that. It's now taking place in Tampa. So why on earth are WWE still using a WrestleMania Hollywood logo? Now, there's a few reasons behind this. One, it could still be Hollywood themed. Just because it's not taking place in Hollywood doesn't mean it's not Hollywood themed. I personally think that's stupid. I don't think that should be a good idea. Save it for a year. Wait for SoFi Stadium to be complete. Wait for things to go back to, you know, relative normality. And then have WrestleMania Hollywood. So what I am pitching, ladies and gentlemen, is for WWE to change the WrestleMania 37 logo. They have three weeks. Three weeks to do this until Royal Rumble season when the sign will be up and everyone will be doing this. And then sometimes if we're lucky, we might get, you know, fireworks. But for the most part, they'll just be pointing. After that time period of three weeks, the moment the WrestleMania 37 sign goes up, hung up in the arena, that's it. No more chances to update the logo. That is it. We're getting a WrestleMania Hollywood themed mania in Florida. That's what's going to happen. But they don't need to do that just yet. They still have three weeks. And in those three weeks, they should update it. And I am, you know, there's there's so many logos they can choose. They're in Tampa. It doesn't have to be pirate theme like this one, the WrestleMania 36 logo. Not a fan of that. Really didn't get the whole pirate theme. Uh, oh, I got it. I just didn't agree with it. Don't think they should do that. Instead, what I think they should do is take something else from Tampa. Now, I'm not obviously from Tampa, uh, so I don't know what's there. I don't know what the landmarks are. But take something like the WrestleMania 35 logo. Mania 35 took place in New York, New Jersey, whatever, I don't know, you know, MetLife Stadium, no one really knows where it is. WWE say it's New York, it's technically New Jersey, we don't really know, but this is New York themed. If you look at the WrestleMania 35 logo, you can see that it's New York themed. You know, you've got like the Statue of Liberty's crown, you've got different things. They've taken elements from the city that are like famous, like famous landmarks, and they've put them into the logo. So find something Tampa related and put it in the WrestleMania 37 logo. Don't give it a pirate theme. Just take something cool. So here's one that I found online uh, that when you Google WrestleMania 37 logo, this actually comes up. So this is the logo. I know it's fan made. I don't know who made it. So whoever you are, credit to you. I, I'm not claiming at all that I made this. You made this, whoever you are. Uh, so WrestleMania 37 logo. Nice, simple. Why not use it? WWE have three weeks, three weeks to do so. Otherwise, we're getting a Hollywood themed mania that's not even in Hollywood. What do you guys think? This is just a, a, like something that I, has been pointed out to me that I think, oh, great. oh, yeah, like this is this, you know, this is intriguing. Something that I thought 
you know, normally I wouldn't think about stuff like this, but why is it WrestleMania Hollywood still if it's not taking place in Hollywood? It is a bit strange. So do you think WWE should, or do you think WWE are going to update their logo? Let me know in the comment section down below. This is just a quick video. I just try, want to raise some speculation, make you guys think a little bit uh, of a potential, nearly messed that up there, a potential possibility of something that could happen in the next coming weeks. If it doesn't, well, all right then, Hollywood themed mania. Uh, but if not, you know, if, if it does happen, I called it first. <laughs> so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye!